Fard County, dozens of people showed up to speak at a commission meeting where leaders considered a deal that would allow a hotel to use part of Lori Wilson Park. And so the Westin Cocoa Beach Resort and Spa is asking for permission to rent out the south side of the public park for up to 100 days a year. The hotel along A1A is slated to open in 2027. The agreement would also allow the hotel to use all of the park for its events for up to 12 days at a time a year. If this agreement is ratified, approved, they would look to relocate the current dog park that's in the southern part of the park to the northern part of the park. They plan to put the dog park over the gopher tortoise holes. I agree our parks need to be monetized to cover the cost of maintaining the facilities, but this is not the answer. How many other hotels or other businesses will you allow to take over neighboring property and public places. And so Commissioner John Tobias said that he'd support the idea, saying it's beneficial for taxpayers. The meeting is still happening, and you can check for updates on ClickOrlando.com. Brevard County leaders also discussed a controversial plan that would use more tourist taxes to pay for beach lifeguards. Earlier this year, they voted in favor of ordering beachside cities to chip in half of the cost of staffing towers. Right now, the county's 5% tourist development tax helps pay for lifeguard services. Right now, starting pay for Brevard County lifeguards is $14.75 an hour. Tryouts are getting underway Next month, for candidates at least 16 or older. In Volusia County, meanwhile, starting pay is 17 an hour with an opportunity to earn bonuses.